No one ever wants a strain on bandwidth. We'll discuss how to configure a split tunnel operation in PPTP VPN when you're connecting it from Windows 10 to a Cisco RV340 series router on this edition of Tech Talks, next. To start our split tunnel configuration, we'll make sure the PPTP VPN connection is configured. If we right click on our VPN connection, we'll be able to access its properties. After clicking on the properties option, we'll go to the networking tab. This will show our connecting items. Select the TCP slash IPv4 option, click properties, and then click the advanced settings. Next, we'll uncheck use default gateway on remote network under the IP settings tab and click OK. This will help configure the split tunnel option and divert the VPN traffic from the system to the PPTP VPN. Any local internet traffic will be diverted to the local gateway configured in that system to reach internet. Next, we'll connect the VPN using the WAN IP of our router. PPTP server is enabled and start and end IP for the PPTP clients are defined on the router. To connect, we'll double click on the PPTP connection and click connect. At this point, we may be asked to provide the username and password if it isn't already saved. Once the PPTP VPN is connected, then the connection details can be found under the Details tab of the PPTP connection status. When we go to the command prompt and type ipconfig, we can see the IP on the PPP adapter. Now that we're connected, we can check the reachability to the VPN server in the command prompt. Now, we will not be able to ping the VLAN 1 IP configured on the router where PPTP VPN server is configured. We'll type the command route print and see the default route is configured to the local gateway with lower metric compared to the route advertised for PPTP VPN. To resolve any issues, we may need to configure an additional route so that the VLAN 1 IP ping request isn't going to the default gateway first. To configure, we need to make sure we're logged into the system. Then we can simply add the persistent route command with lower metric value to reach the remote VLAN 1 interface via the PPTP VPN interface. Once we've added the command, we will receive a notification. That indicates it has been successfully added. Now we will be able to ping the remote VLAN 1 IP and also see the internet traffic is going via the default gateway configured in that system to reach internet. And that, my friends, is how a split tunnel works in Windows 10 OS. Thank you for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.